Hey guys, Lumpy Thumb here. I'm going to do a Lumpy Short. It's a completely new thing. I'm going to try to keep this thing really super short. Uh, we're going to be opening one of the kombuchas that we did the other day. Uh, we're going to be opening it today to see how the fermentation is going. But first I want to do a, a quick um, tutorial or let, let you guys see how I uh, do some fermented vegetables. I, I like to ferment a lot of vegetables. I like the the pickleish kind of taste, uh, and you get that without the vinegar. Don't get me wrong, I love vinegar, love, love vinegar. In fact, people think I'm weird because I, I drink it just like it is. Um, but I also like to ferment my stuff. Uh, and you might see back here hidden, I have some kimchi that I've been tinkering with. Uh, never fermented anything quite that thick. Kind of bothers me, that's why I haven't done a video on it yet, because I'm not quite sure how it's going to turn out. I tasted some today. I haven't been sick yet, uh, and it tasted really good. It smelled bad, it tasted really good. I'm not a fan of kimchi, but my dad likes it, so I want to like it. It, it. Maybe that's kind of a weird thing. I don't know, but uh, I, I, I just like the fermented thing, so, so, you know, right along with kombucha. And I got all kinds of fermented things up on my thing. You know, fermented jalapenos, fermented jalapenos. I got some fermented. Uh, what the hell is that? I don't even know what that is. Common thing. Got some Brussels sprouts that are fermented. Uh, I know what that is. That's celery. And it's got some pepper down in there because I like spice. Anyway, keeping it short. Bang! We're going to do two pints of fermented uh, cauliflower. So, from my mom's driveway, I got a bunch of dill this early summer. And, it, and I have put it in my dehydrator. And it is dehydrated. And I, I like the flavor of dill. So this this is a full head down into the jar. This is a half of a head because the full head was huge, just absolutely enormous. Um, so here here's the rest of the scraps from that. Put it into my sterilized jars. Uh, into the jars. This is sea salt. Uh, this is fine grain sea salt finely ground sea salt. Uh, you, you can use m many different kinds of salts for this. You can use basically anything without iodine in it. Pickling salt, canning pickling salt, Morton canning pickling salt. You can use, um, I want to call it Jewish, Jewish salt, but that's wrong. It's whatever. So, tablespoon of salt, in each quart, that's a bit much um, on the salt, but I, I like my stuff salty. You, you don't have to use quite that much. And something I've seen recently is people using bay leaves to keep things crunchy. Um, I'm guessing it's the tannin in the leaves, so I'm going to go with the smallest big leaf and the biggest small leaf in one, and I'm going to go with the biggest big leaf and the small small leaf in the other. Figure that out on your own time. Okay, that makes that jar empty. Bam, in the trash it goes. And then turmeric. Turmeric, turmeric. Uh, great for uh, anti-inflammation. So I'm going to put in not that hair. I don't know how it got in there because I don't own any animals or pets and my children both have long hair so whatever so about a half a, a half ish teaspoon of turmeric more or less depending on your taste of course put a little bit more in there yeah I like turmeric just whatever we accidentally used the entire container whatever there was just a few splashes left in there anyway so, into the garbage. That goes. Stepping off camera. I said earlier I like spice, so... I got some jalapeno here. Slice off the stem. Slice that jalapeno in half. Bam! Right into the, right into the jars they go. Right back. 
Okay, so we got our salt, we got our dill, we got our turmeric, we got our jalapenos, jalapenos, jalapenos. We got our cauliflower. Um, I've, I've already chopped and rinsed this. Just take your cauliflower and pack it into the jar. And while I was, before I did any of this, I got a four quart saucepan of water on the boil. It is over off camera on the stove, hot and ready to go. It's, it's actually not hot. I turned it off a minute ago so that it wouldn't uh, crack my mason jars. Because Lumpy's lost, lost enough mason jars fermenting with really hot liquids. And when it turns out, I really don't need to, just as long as you have the salinity right, it, uh, the, the, the temperature of the water doesn't really seem to matter. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get everything settled in here so it'll take on the maximum amount of cauliflower that it possibly can, leaving as little space in the jars as possible because when I do a ferment, I like to get as much out of it as I can. So I give them a shake, I give them a twist, I give them a push. That always seems to open up a little bit of space. Don't be afraid to push. It's a lumpy curse whenever I do anything on this counter. I lose something to the floor. There's some type of weird gravitational pull right here that sucks everything straight down and it does not all survive. Uh, I, I can see it, it will get rinsed off and consumed at some point in time, but it will not become fermented because of contamination issues. You don't want to introduce any weird bacteria or yeast, which are all around us into this mixture. So I've just about got these all packed in full. As you can see, they're packed in full just below. These are regular mouth jars, and I pack them right, right to where the, I, I call this the shoulder comes up and meets the mouth. Um, and you want to leave a little bit of head space for that. So that gives me, it gives Lumpy a little bit of cauliflower for supper. Gonna have a nice salad, I suppose. Into the sink that goes. Two containers, they got the salt, they got the turmeric, they got the jalapeno pepper, they got the dill, they got the um, whatever that white stuff is, cauliflower. Bang, here comes the hot water. Like I said, I boiled this water. You don't want to fill it all the way full, but that one's a little too full, but whatever. That was a little better. Okay, so I probably could have got away with like three quarts of water instead of four and got the same results. So I'm gonna do some water control. <whistles> Boiling water's hot, don't touch that kids. Um, professionals only. Children, get your parents' permission. Any kind of disclaimer that you think of, I want to say. Actually, I lost a lot of water. I'm probably going to have to. We'll deal with that after the video. Anyway, bam. So here we go. Okay. Uh, we're going to do a couple things. This is a rolling pin. Uh... I use it to tamp anything that I ferment, anything and everything. It works really good on cabbage, not so good on farm things that are really oddly shaped like cauliflower. Okay, the problem is that I see a few things poking up above the level of the water. You don't want that. Uh, when you're fermenting, you want everything to be below the level of the water. So what I've got here 
is, do I have any? I do have some. Pickle Pebbles. Uh, there's lots of different brands out there, lots of different ways that you can, uh, they call them fermentation weights. Uh, they make them in glass, they make them in stone. I don't recommend plastic. These are glass. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go get my other one. I washed it just earlier. Okay, so pickle pebbles. Pickle pebbles go into the ever so gently on top of what you're fermenting. They keep everything underneath the level of the water, which stops any kind of um, fu uh, not fungus. Yeah, fungus keeps any kind of weird shit stuff from growing on top of your um, uh, fermentation, whatever you're fermenting. Anyway, so pickle pebbles in. Next we got, um, you're going to laugh and you're not going to believe me, but I have pickle pipes. These are silicone, uh, basically one-way valves so that uh, gas can escape, but nothing unkind can go in and mess with my ferment. And they, they just go inside the regular rings instead of the um, instead of the mason jar lids. And bam, there, there you go. We let those sit for at least a week. Um, we'll start we'll start messing with it in a week. I'll, I'll sample a piece and see if it tastes good, you know. If, if not, we'll, we'll let it go longer. You know, I, I, I've let this go up to four weeks without any serious problems. I've never had any problems, but I mean, when I say, that's a lumpy short. <laughs> pickled cauliflower, or not pickled, fermented cauliflower. Thanks guys, see you next time. Oh. Hit that like and subscribe button. There's there's going to be more stuff coming. Uh, like like I said, you got there's the, the short quick. Hit like, subscribe. Fermented uh, cauliflower.